our culture has a story. Yeah, because we have a creation story. So if we have a creation story, all of these things have places in our stories. It's just a matter of who you learn the story from. How did we announce our arrival in ancient times? If someone was to come over from Maui on a canoe, they would stuff their canoe a mile and a half out. Why? Because a mile and a half around each island belongs to our island people. That is our fishing grounds. Anything outside of that is free fishing for anybody. That is what I've been taught by my kupunas in this valley. So, how did we ask permission to enter? We blew. everybody you guys are officially welcome what you guys just saw me do with my dad is our traditional handshake we go four to four nose to nose and we breathe in at the same time we call that the exchange of ha our handshakes involves no hands we are in the town of Kauna Kakai it means town by the sea this is the main town in Molokai. It's got two grocery stores, the only gas station, and very friendly, lovely people. It's beautiful. that Molokai is rather hard to get to is about eight years ago there used to be a ferry that ran here from the island of Maui to Molokai. It was then discontinued. What had happened then was is everyone either had to bring everything in through airplane or through your own private boat to get here. There is a barge that comes here twice a week to Kalakai, okay? But for the most part though it has really kind of slowed things down without the ferry. So, and right over here is where you pick it up. Now, there's only two 
gas stations in Kamakakai in Molokai. And the gas prices are a little high, but at the same time though, you don't really use that much because of the speed limits around the town and the island. When you're looking for islands, this generally does not pop up at the top of the list. Reason for that is this is not one of your more tourist popular islands. They are looking for people that want to come and embrace the culture. Now Molokai, like most Hawaiian islands, has a windward side and a leeward side, okay? Leeward side is the desert side, which is the side we're on right now on Molokai. Windward side is the east side of the island, which is the jungle part of the island that tends to get a lot more rain. So, pretty simple. Leeward side, generally desert, more sunlight, more beautiful weather. Windward side, east side, rain, jungle, also beautiful as well. We talked earlier about the windward side and the leeward side. The windward being more of the jungle, rain side of the island, and then the leeward side being more of the desert side of the island. This time we're in the windward side, the more jungle, green side of the island of Mullet. Just to be up with you guys. So this is, and I got nine waterfalls in the valley. So what you see from the road is not the only waterfall in the valley. And I get 20 foot water rises in five minutes. Yeah, in this place. We are going down to the beautiful Halava Valley. So much culture and spirit down there. Now when traveling the Halava Valley, the roads up here are very windy. There's also several rock slides and rocks in the road. I mean, if you traveled the road to Hana and Maui, it's even more intense here in Molokai. So, also a couple of other tips though, for driving in Molokai. If you do see that you got a couple of cars behind you, chances are they're locals, pull right over. They'll definitely respect you and you're showing them respect, which is kind of gonna work in your favor. <laughs> On the island of Molokai, don't park under the coconut trees. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, my Hawaiian name is Kawai Maka, which a lot of people don't remember. My English name is Greg. Um, what's who's standing behind me is my dad. He's known as Anakala Filipo or Pops. Um, he's our last original elder, born and raised traditionally in the valley today, still living in the valley today. So he was raised and taught a whole different part of our culture that we don't know about. Well, actually, we know about today, but most people don't. with our visitors so they can get a better understanding and a better respect for our culture pretty much it and not do all the stuff that the hotel teaches you because in our culture when girls are dancing hula and they allow the visitors to do this that's a big disrespect in our culture why hula is our sign language it was our way of telling stories and communicating and re remembering genealogy through song and dance because we had no written language so basically when you do that, that's like making fun of a blind person or a deaf person. Yeah? That's like me going up to a deaf person and going loo, 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 just to make a sign. That is what you do when you do this. And you folks don't know and that is why I like to educate. Because a lot of visitors are wondering why the Hawaiian says go home. Well, if I went to your town and made fun of all your traditions, what would you tell me? Go home. Go home. Exactly. It's just that you guys don't know that you're making fun of it because you guys are not taught this in the industry. They want your money for the show. We want the respect to share and make connection. That's what our people was about one time. We were a very loving, open, friendly culture at one time. That is why we helped Captain Cook and heal the sailors. If we really were cannibals and heathens like they said, and if we really ate Captain Cook like they said in the history books, he would have never had a second trip to Hawaii. We would have ate him the first time. That's letting our food get away. In our culture, we never <laughs> let food get away. That's the most important thing. <laughs> started off with the word aloha and I told you guys the word aloha meant what? Love. So aloha does not mean hello and goodbye in Hawaiian language. Um, when I was growing up in the islands and we've heard it many over and over again there was a woman's voice that used to be on the speakers in the airport on the buses all over the place when we used to travel as kids that there was a woman's voice that would come on especially in the airports and they would say aloha the word of a thousand meanings just like that. It's imprinted in my head ever since I was a kid. I'll always hear that lady's voice. Aloha. You know? And my elders would look at me and shake their head and go, that's why everybody's so confused nowadays. And I look at my kupunas and says, why are they confused? He says, Aloha does not mean hello and goodbye. Yeah? It does not mean all these things that people think. Today they said the word Aloha is the word of a thousand meanings. If Aloha was really the word of a thousand meanings, I don't have to talk to you. I just say Aloha all day. Because Aloha has a thousand meanings. So I can just make a sentence by saying, Aloha, 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 Aloha. You know what I'm saying? He says, no, you don't know what I'm saying. We have a language, not a word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aloha kakahiaka guys, if you guys are ever interested in learning any type of cultural history um, or anything about our culture in Hawaii, um, you can come visit us at Halava Valley Falls Cultural Hike um, or you could go online um, halavavalleymolokai.com, that is where you can find us. But if you guys want to learn more, more than welcome to have you guys. One thing I recommend for everybody when you're on the island of Molokai, Hawaii, is to take the Halava Cultural Tour and also the Waterfall Tour. Greg and his dad are famous. They are on practically every Discovery, every History Channel. Anything about Hawaiian culture comes back to them. So it was a pleasure meeting them and I learned so much and they're genuine. They invite you onto their own property and they're just so real. You're really gonna enjoy this. Thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you so much for spending your time with us. If you did like what you saw, please hit that like button. We'd also greatly appreciate it if you'd subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell for notification of future videos. Mahalo. Aloha. Um, 
um, they did a documentary on our family that is on PBS right now, which is actually called The Sons of Halava. Um, and it tells the story of this guy right here and how he's trying to keep the traditions and cultures alive and try to share with all the visitors around the world and try to get the younger generation to carry on the traditions and culture.